Hey Libra, welcome guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I love having you guys here. Uh, so let's see what these wisdom oracle cards have for us today. This is what we're going to use uh, to receive our messages from spirit and from the universe. I uh, remember guys, if you find value in these reads, if they resonate with you, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel out. It helps me to keep delivering these messages to you guys on a daily basis. I can feel them just jumping around in my hands. I feel like these guys did not want to go back into the deck. So we have co-create. So co-create is a good card. It definitely speaks to cooperating and working with somebody, working in a partnership. I have imagined too. So the imagine card represents a need to imagine your future, imagine what you want in life, form that clear picture in your head so that you can then manifest it in real life as well. And observer, interesting. Uh, there might be a need to sort of sit back and watch the world around you to be able to pick out your opportunity to find that thing that you're imagining here, guys. And the fates, so the fates are at work here. And that's why you have the Imagine card and that's why it's so strong in your read because the forces that be want to help you to find this thing that you're looking for. They're working behind the scenes to try and bring the opportunity your way. So you need to stay vigilant with this Observer card to be able to see that opportunity when it comes and clear Clarifying it in your mind helps you to see it when it's right in front of your face. I have to the sea as well, which speaks of uncharted waters that need to go with the flow and not fight change. I also have unfinished symphony, so something you're building towards in your life. I feel like it's definitely tied into this imagine card. This is what you're wanting in life. This is what you're working towards. And this might be a career. It might be making more money. It might be romance and building a family, owning a home. Whatever this goal is, you need to really cement it in your mind at this unfinished symphony, what you want it to look like so that the face can help to bring that opportunity forward. And I do have the yang card. I feel like this Yang card is tied into the co-create card. It can speak of a need for action, a time for action. It can also speak of a very masculine energy. I feel like it's definitely tying into co-create and someone, someone else. There's a partnership here, guys. Uh, I have the King of Pentacles interesting. So this King of Pentacles uh, is definitely uh, somebody who's successful. They're sometimes uh, self-made as well. They can be wealthy. Uh, they're caring. They're kind. They're generous. Uh, they like to work with their hands, build things with their hands. Um, they can be part of the medical profession. They can be farmers. They can be tradesmen. Uh, and Pentacles is also uh, also an earth sign. So uh, we're looking at Taurus, we're looking at Virgo, we're looking at Capricorn, uh, if this is speaking to a person in this. I feel it tied to the Yang card. Somebody coming your way, like this is a somebody, a somebody in your life. The death card represents transition, closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. I'm feeling the beginning, a new beginning here, guys. Uh, the king, king of wands, this king of wands is all about passion, ambition, and drive. Uh, he could be somebody uh, on the negative side with a hot temper who sort of thinks with or acts without thinking uh, wands is also a fire sign uh so you're looking at you're looking at aries you're looking at leo you're looking at sagittarius uh, so i might be looking at closing the door on one of these kings and opening it to the other here guys Ooh, the devil card this devil card he's tied to the king of wands uh, just these two cards go together. Uh, so this is somebody negative. It's somebody who has a negative influence in your life. Somebody who you cannot co-create with because they won't cooperate for whatever reason. Uh, they're just not going to do it. They have more of a destructive force in your life. They don't bring about what you want. It's funny because I see these two cards together. Uh, this King of Wands and this Devil card and I feel very dark energy. So that tells me we're, we're on the negative side of things. And then I see King of Pentacles and my eyes get pulled right to Yang. And these, these are bright, they're colorful cards. I see positivity in them. Oh, and then we have the King of Swords too, guys. So this King of Swords, uh, he def definitely represents somebody who doesn't talk about his own feelings. Uh, he's somebody who's sort of uh, on, on the negative side. He can be a little dishonest. He can be cunning on the positive side. He can be somebody who's loyal and honest, depending on who he is. Um, he's also an air sign. So we're looking at a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, so this can even speak to your energy because we were talking Libra, right? Uh, so this is maybe a need to be able to, to open up about your emotions, to open up about your thoughts, to not close yourself off as well, guys. Uh, the page of wands represents good news on the way. So this change is coming. There is some sort of change coming. I feel like it's tied to this, to the sea and some uncharted waters and something that you've never done before as well. The Queen of Pentacles, interesting. 
So now we have a king and queen of the same suit. We might be looking at uh, maybe somebody who's a match and so much of a match that it's not something we've ever experienced before. And that's that's our to the sea. That's our new uncharted water. Someone we can actually co-create with. Somebody who's not a hothead uh, and a negative force. Somebody who's not completely closed off and cold and won't talk about their thoughts or their feelings. Uh, this is somebody who's warm, who's caring, and who's kind, and who matches us in a lot of different ways. I also have the Knight of Cups, which represents an emotional victory. So this is positive. There's some positive change coming your way. And the Hierophant, which speaks to a higher learning. I also... I'm just going to say, I, I do see the word marriage in that card. Just saying it. Uh, and this might also tie into your imagine. And being able to define this co-create partner that you want in your life. How, the qualities that you want in this partner. Hell, write a fucking list down if you have to. To be able to cement it and make it clear to the fates. Because they are trying to bring this person into your life. So that you can, you can have this not unfinished symphony anymore. You can have this grand finished symphony. And building a life with this person. Alrighty guys, that is what the card said to me today. And I hope that you enjoyed the read. Remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week. All you have to do is be a subscriber. And just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name in the draw. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.